the new puppy. Why? Johnny has a brand new puppy. I will call you Spot, says Johnny, for he knows that all puppies have names. Johnny and Spot are going to be friends and have lots of fun together. Spot is small and he is not very happy. He has just left seven brothers and sisters and his mother's safe warm side. So Johnny strokes him gently and talks to him quietly. He doesn't hug him or squeeze him or shout or run about. That would frighten Spot. Spot is a puppy. He isn't big and strong yet. This is the way Johnny picks up his puppy so the puppy won't get hurt. One hand under Spot's back legs, the other hand under his chest. Poor Spot. It is his first night at his new home and he is frightened he cries a little spot wishes that he were back with his seven brothers and sisters and his safe warm mother johnny puts a warm bottle under spot's blanket he places a ticking clock nearby now spot feels warm and he hears the friendly tick tock of the clock he feels better. He doesn't cry anymore. He falls asleep instead. Johnny's mother shows Johnny how to make Spot's meals. Spot has a special dish all of his own and a special place for eating. Spot likes to be left alone when he is eating. When Spot has finished eating, Johnny t takes up his dish and cleans it. He leaves a dish of clean water in Spot's special eating place. Spot soon gets to know that it will always be there full of fresh, clean water to drink. Spot is a baby and has lots to learn. Most important lesson of all is to be clean. Johnny will teach him. He will housebreak this, his dog. No, says Johnny, and he takes Spot outside. Johnny must put Spot outside or in his litter box right after every meal. No, says Johnny, when Spot jumps on the chair. The place for good puppy is on the floor. No is a word that Spot quickly learns. He knows by the way that Johnny says it that he is not pleased. Learning no is a puppy's first lesson. He hears it often at first. <laughs> no, says Johnny, when Spot jumps up to meet him. Johnny is glad that Spot is pleased to see him, but one day, Spot may leave, have muddy paws and jump on somebody's clean dress. So Spot must learn no to all jumping up. To stop him, Johnny will quick, quickly drop down to where Spot is and say hello. When Spot is older, if he still jumps up, Johnny will quickly put up his knee to meet Spot's chest. No, it won't hurt but Spot won't like it and will soon stop jumping up. No, says Johnny, when Spot chews Daddy's good slipper. Johnny whacks him, not very hard, with a rolled up newspaper, never with his hand. A hand is for petting. Spot chews because he wants to have good, strong teeth. So Johnny gives him a toy of his own. And Daddy tries to remember to put his slippers where Spot won't find them. No, says Johnny, when Spot keeps on barking. Spot barks because he is, ha he is a puppy and likes to make a noise. Spot barks because he thinks he is looking after Johnny by scaring people away. But the neighbors do not like noisy puppies. So no, says Johnny, when he has let Spot bark a few times. Soon Spot is old enough to learn some more lessons. Johnny puts a leash around Spot's neck. He lets Spot drag the leash around for a while, a whole day, so the puppy can get used to it. Then the lesson begins. Come, says Johnny, 
Come is a new word for spot. He decides to sit down and think on it. Come, says Johnny. He doesn't try to drag the puppy. Instead, he pulls quick on the leash when he says come. When at last Spot comes, Johnny strokes his head and says, Good dog, in a very pleased voice. Spot has learned no and come. Now he is ready to learn another new word. Sit, says Johnny, and he presses down gently on Spot's back. When he takes his head away, Spot pops up like a jack-in-the-box. But Johnny keeps saying sit, and he presses down gently. At last, Spot understands. Then, good dog, good dog, says Johnny, very pleased. Lessons are hard work for puppies and boys, so Johnny keeps the lessons very short. After the lesson, Spot and Johnny romp and play games together. Johnny knows some good games, like tug-of-war and throwing sticks for Spot to fetch. Johnny is a good teacher. He uses short, easy words and always the same ones. Instead of, stop it, spot you naughty, bad puppy, Johnny always says no when spot is being naughty. Instead of, here, spot, come here quickly, boy, Johnny always says come. And when spot does what Johnny tells him to, Johnny always remembers to say, good dog and to let his dog know that he is pleased. Spot wants to please Johnny, but too many lessons are hard to remember. So Johnny teaches Spot the same lesson over and over until Spot can do it easily. Now that you are such a smart puppy, I shall take you for a walk in the park, says Johnny. But when they get outside, Spot thinks he is going to take Johnny for a walk. Heel, says Johnny. He pulls Spot close and keeps the leash short. When Spot pulls away, Johnny jerks him back hard and says, Heel. It takes a long time for Spot to learn a new word. To make him feel better, Johnny stops sometimes and says, Sit. Spot knows sit, and he sits nicely. Good dog, says Johnny. Then they start walking again. Heel, says Johnny making the leash short. Soon Spot will learn. When lessons are over, Johnny talks to Spot all the time. Johnny tells his dog everything, of course. Spot can't understand words, but he likes the sound of Johnny's voice, and he can tell how Johnny is feeling. If Johnny is sad, Spot is sad too. And if Johnny is glad, Spot is the happiest puppy in the world. Because Johnny and Spot are friends. The new puppy.